welcome to the second video of our crash course on how to succeed in modern motion design industry and accelerate your career in animation. If you haven't watched the first class, make sure to go back and watch it before you jump onto the second one. In this class, we'll talk about the single most important thing in motion design and animation that separates the professionals from the amateurs. The number one overarching rule that professional animators practice every single day that will change how you animate on every single thing the rest of your life. The ultimate secrets to great animations you see everywhere. Drum roll please, is timing and spacing. If you don't know about timing and spacing, that's what I'll show you in this video that will forever change how you think of animation, for the better, for sure. Let's hop inside After Effects. As you can see on the screen, first, let's talk about timing. Timing is pretty simple. At zero second here, I have a keyframe on this stick. At 30 frame, I have another keyframe here on the position property so that the stick change from one position to the next. And now if I play it, this is the animation that we get. What is timing then? As we all know, this animation right now, it takes 30 frames to complete. And the 30 frames is the timing for this animation. That's the duration of the animation and also how long it takes for the animation to happen. That's timing. Easy to understand, right? However, not a lot of people know what is spacing and what a spacing means. Most of the time when we set up keyframe, we are only seeing the two keyframe that we set up a and B and ignoring everything else in between. All these. If you're only concerned with these two keyframes A and B and all you do is simply just ease the two keyframes, you're missing out on the infinite option that you could have on your animation by changing the spacing. All these in between frames, one between another, these are called spacing. Remember the timing that we have is the duration of the animation. Now you're only concerned with A and B, two positions and the duration of the animation. And when we talk about spacing, that's when we talk about all the frames in between A and B and how we manipulate all the frames in between to create the animation that we want. So the next question is how do we change spacing? Timing, as we all know, we can change the keyframe on the timeline here. Let's say I have two keyframes. I can easily drag the keyframes to change the timing. That's very simple. But now how do we change the spacing? In After Effects, the spacing is actually controlled by a graph editor, which is hidden. That's probably why most people are missing out on it. It is this very little button here. Looks so simple and unimportant. However, this is probably one of the top three most important buttons in After Effects. Well, in After Effects, you got all these buttons and you got hundreds of effects, presets, and so many other tools in After Effects. But this button here is what you use 80% of the time for your professional work. I mean 80% of the time for your professional work. If you're missing out on this, this button right here, you're missing out on 80% of the possibilities of your animation. And that's why your work doesn't look so professional. But don't worry, since you're here, we are teaching you how to become a professional animator. Now let's come to a different composition on the left here, using keyframes demo to play with some of the spacing so that we can get different kinds of animation. If we preview this, you can see this is the linear animation that we get. However, if we select both keyframes and come to this graph editor to manipulate some of the spacing, I'm going to show you some of the possibilities we have. First, let's come to the speed graph and we can right click keyframe assistant, easy ease. Now, once we make a default easing, you can see the spacing of the frames changed. Now we have more of the stick in the beginning and the ending of the animation, meaning they're moving slowly at the beginning and then moving slowly at the end. Now let's drag this curve here, make it more dramatic. And now let's see what we have, what the animation looks like. Without changing the timing, it's still 30 frames. You can feel that the animation actually looks faster. If I make it even more dramatic, just drag this all the way like this. Let's see what the animation we have. Now I can click on this hide all button. 
I can hide all these interpolation just seeing the two frames at the beginning and the end without seeing any of the in-between frames. This is what the animation looked like. You can see it's got much more energy and then it's got character to it. It doesn't look so boring anymore. So this is a curve that we get here. And let's see if I change the curve like this. Make it faster at the beginning. And then slowly coming to the end. Let's preview this. You can see now the stick move, moves fast at the beginning and then slowly comes to a stop. Another thing is right now you can see at one second, zero frames. I have this curve all the way at the bottom here. This is a speed graph, meaning at zero second, the speed of this object is zero. However, if I drag this up here, that means the object already has a speed coming into the frame so that it's not starting from zero. Let's preview this. And now if we have a curve like this, the stick is going to move slowly at the beginning and then very fast at the end. Let's preview this. So it stopped very abruptly. Now you can see with the changing in spacing, we can get so many different options to our animation. This is what the in-between frames look like with our curve looking like this. If we show the comparison here, on top we have the linear keyframes and then at the bottom we have the easing keyframes. However, at the bottom we can modify the spacing of the frames however we want and achieve so many different possibilities to our animation. So that's what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you how many options you have with manipulating the spacing of the animation and what we can achieve. Once you're familiar with the graph editor and be able to adjust it with purpose, you will have full control of your timing and spacing and be able to take responsibility for every single frame of your animation. Thus, animate anything precisely to do whatever you like. Not only that, you will have the confidence of knowing you can do anything you want and not limit it to the two keyframes and the system default easy ease or use plugins to get the desired look. You will be able to achieve everything and anything manually with Graph Editor. You can really exaggerate the spacing in animation, getting more contrast between the slow and fast part of the movement. And this is a great way to make animation more appealing. Same timing, different spacing, completely different feel and vibes. And now you know the difference between timing and spacing, which quite honestly, I didn't know until I've been animating for five years. Using good timing and spacing in your animation can really take you very far. That's truly what makes a difference and a huge difference. That's it for timing and spacing. If you learned something new, don't forget to give me a like on this video and share it with someone who you think might be helpful. If you like it, I bet they will find it helpful as well. This is a secret in the industry that hasn't been talked about or discussed enough. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.